Thou too I'm like a butterfly Without fly <laughs>
What, you don't think I'm hot? No, no, it's okay. Yeah, of course I understand. Never before have you felt this way. Thoughts of me are driving you mad. But bro, you tell me. What good is that? She's great I delivery. I could be tantalizing if you gave me the chance. Didn't write me off as one of the guys with whom you want this warped romance. I am a seductress in my head. Hmm. Fierce and spicy. How dare you come along and tell me that you want to use me only for scintillating conversation like bad over fast food burgers? Come on, dude. Use me for my body. Tell me that my face is a 10 on 10, that you would tap that ass again and again, and <laughs> you your hands around the shape of my head, that you're warm in my hand, that I'm <laughs> Stop saying that I'm sweet and smart and pretty. Tell me that that pair of Levi's really does make me look sexy. No. See, I'm tired of this world trying to sell me all this crap, and then assholes like you refuse to objectify me. <laughs> cute. I mean, maybe objectively. I mean, I don't know, you're not my type. But the fact that I'm not your type, that's really fucking rude. <laughs> because I tried using this heart and this mind to shout on about passion and rights, but when the hot chick walks in, mm. no one looks at me twice. So I'm changing my pitch. Maybe I wasn't selling it right. Maybe beauty doesn't really lie in the eye of the beholder. Maybe it lies in the amount of your Instagram followers. <laughs> and if that's the best way to be heard by being hot, then I need you to notice my cleavage and butt. Because what good is this intelligence? Or being comfortable in this skin, wearing what I want and speaking what I think, it doesn't get you all that far. It doesn't really work at all. So fuck it. I guess I'm done with all that dazzling personality crap. If you're in touch with the Wizard of Oz and he needs a heart and a brain, he can take mine. They're up for sale. She freaking fire, man. She is extremely talented. Fire. Like in terms of spoken words, not like a popular thing. No. To that people just go like not like comedy stores and obviously stand up comedy is great. But that was just as engaging as any stand-up I've you what, ever seen. That's... It is, and I'll tell you what, I, I, I really like Amanda Gorman, the poet laureate who's, who was the yeah. young girl at the inauguration. Yeah. She deserves all that she gets. Oh, yeah, she's, she's so an good. incredibly talented person. But the, this is a completely different kind mm -hmm. of poetry, Yeah. but just as good. Yeah. Just as good. This is she has... so pithy, poignant. Uh, she has great delivery. Oh, she has a great persona on love her. stage because she has this like I don't know if it's literally she seems nervous or if that's the act she's putting right. on for it. Right, right, right. I can't tell. Uh, right, but it's it's, it works. it's wonderful because she says this stuff and you're like it's very endearing what she's saying, but it's also extremely powerful and witty and just uh, it punches you right in the in the gut sometimes. It's, yep. Yeah. It's. She's so so talented. I can't I can't rave about her enough. She's great, and her timing is impeccable because she knows exactly when and where to space things and do it in such a way that I bet she's a very good actress because she knows how to say things and make it sound like it's coming off the top of her head. But you know it's scripted; it's already yeah. pre-written. Yeah. But she makes it seem as if she's thinking it, and I bet every time she does it, it's a little different. That it's not exactly spot on the same, depending mm -hmm. upon how she feels and what the audience is giving her. Yeah. I. She's a rock star. Yeah, yep. she's absolutely wonderful. Once again, if you if you're watching, you're extremely talented. Keep please keep doing what you're doing. Yes, uh, if, I'm hoping you're still doing this. This one came out in 2017, so I don't know if she's still doing it, but she should. Yeah, I guarantee. I mean, I can't imagine you're not doing it because it's a part of like who you are. But I hope there's a, a wider audience and a demand for what you do. I I think spoken word. Is so way underestimated. It should be as popular as stand-up comedy. Yeah, it's it's really powerful. It's such an amazing. I'm surprised there hasn't been more of it in America because of the success of Hamilton and Lynn doing so much with spoken word slash rap mm -hmm. that I just I wish it was a lot more popular because it's a magnificent art yeah. form. That was great. If there's so more good. from her or others that do spoken word, please let us know down below. Josh!